Oh my god, that's shocking. Look how good they look. They look so nice. Mm. Oh my god. She's like, why are you taking pictures? channel i hope you're well as always if you're new here then welcome so as you can guess from the title of this video today i'm going to be trying to eat from petrol stations slash service stations in the uk i've seen this video kind of floating around youtube recently and i thought it looks really fun so i thought i'm just going to give it a go i am a little bit worried though because i don't live in a city and the petrol stations and the service stations around here are probably not going to be that amazing whether i'm going to get any nice food today i have no idea but we will see fingers crossed so we can find some gems i'm literally so hungry now it's nearly 10 o'clock and i've not eaten a thing for the purpose of this video i've waited till 10 o'clock because i realized that the insurance had run out on my car this morning so i couldn't actually go to a petrol station until i got my insurance sorted i've got insurance now and i can actually drive my car and so i'm so freaking excited to eat breakfast i cannot even tell you my boyfriend said that there is a Starbucks machine, one of the petrol stations, not that far. So I'm gonna attempt to go there and see whether I can get a nice coffee this morning. And then I have no idea what kind of food they're gonna have in there, but we shall see. Right, off we go. Fingers crossed, guys. Oh my god, what if there's nothing nice in there? I'm literally at the point of hangry. So if there's no nice food, I feel like I'm actually gonna get angry. I'm literally craving right now just like a really nice chocolatey delicious breakfast and I just feel like I'm not gonna get that right I've arrived I feel like this is gonna be so embarrassing because it's literally like a tiny petrol station so I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film actually in the petrol station but hopefully they've got some good food let's go and see Oh my god, literally have no idea how to use this thing. But it's Starbucks. <laughs> what should I go for? Cappuccino. Big one. Oh, never tried this. Gonna try that. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Let me tip my hand out. Thank you. Sorry, excuse me, why are you talking a bit? Well, that was awkward. The women told me off. I don't know whether I got on camera, but she had a proper go at me. She's like, why are you taking pictures? I thought in a service station that they wouldn't be that bothered, but yeah, I got, I got told off. Anyway, never mind. It's probably going to happen a few times today. I feel like it's awkward walking into a service station asking if you can film though. A service station, like, it just would feel really awkward. Anyway, never mind. I got my Starbucks is what I came for, right? So I've got a cappuccino. I didn't notice anywhere on the, like, machine that you could select other milks because I prefer, like, coconut milk, oat milk, any other milk to normal milk, basically. Oh my god, that's shocking. I'm not even joking you, that's actually not a cappuccino. It literally just tastes like partially warm milk. I feel like even Starbucks would not be happy with that Starbucks. Okay, well that was literally a failure because I literally came here to go get the Starbucks. But never mind, I just realised my engine was on. I hope that wasn't too annoying for you, sorry about that. I feel like I should drive somewhere else because I'm worried that woman's going to come out and like start screaming at me. Anyway, so I picked up some breakfast bits and I feel like I literally had to look so hard. I did find a few like breakfasty items though, but like genuinely there really wasn't a lot of choice in terms of breakfast. This is the pastry that I've picked up. I have no idea what this is going to be like. It looks... I've never seen it before, basically. I've never seen that brand. Never seen it in my life. It looks like a chocolate croissant on the front, but we'll see about that inside. Oh, it looks better than what I was expecting. I thought it was going to look like really bready. Oh, it does a bit. It doesn't look quite as flaky and nice as a croissant, does it? See if there's... Oh, 
Oh, oh, the chocolate looks well weird. I mean, it's not loads of chocolate, but there is a bit. The only thing I'd say is I can't really get that on camera very well, but it's more like jam texture. Doesn't actually look like chocolate. Like, it def that definitely does not look like Nutella. I thought it was going to be like Nutella inside. That looks really strange and very dark. Oh, it smells like yogurt. It's definitely more like brioche. That is not classic on that is brioche. The chocolate's weird. It's not it's not bad and it's not good. It's like it's okay. Oh no, someone's pulled up next to me now. This is awkward. Just eating my dodgy croissant on camera. Right, next I picked up this. Now this looks a little bit more up my street for breakfast. I was surprised when I saw this in there to be fair. I mean I've never seen a brand Nomadic yogurt and oat clusters in chocolate flavour. There was actually a couple of other flavours as well. There was like blueberry and strawberry but obviously I had to go for chocolate because it's me. Why would I ever ever pick strawberry or blueberry if there's an option to have chocolate? I think that's like the granola in there and then you pour it into this dish thing which is the yogurt. I feel like that's going to be really hard to eat out of. Does it have a spoon as well? Oh, it does. Oh, no. It's one of those wooden spoons. They really make my skin crawl. Do they make anyone else's crawl when they, like, touch... Oh, when the wood touches your teeth. Oh. I don't know why that would come in such a shallow dish. I feel like they've got this the wrong way around. Oh, do I pour the yogurt into that? Yeah, I must pour the yogurt into the granola. Oh, my God. Definitely going to get it all over me. Right, bring the yogurt in now. Oh my god, it's very runny. Kind of reminds me a little bit of when milk goes off, you know? And it goes like thick. Oh, that's really put me off my own breakfast. Well done, Bethan. Right, let's give it a little stirry stir. The granola looks pretty good and the chocolate pieces. Wow, that's sour. Slightly concerning because it actually might be gone off milk. check the date oh no 20 21st and 9th we're good to go to be fair to esso that's not bad breakfast like if you were in a rush and you had to eat from service stations all day it's all right it's actually quite a good design yeah i'm enjoying it just because i was so hungry not bad <laughs> right final thing that i picked up was this this looks right up my street guys like as soon as i saw it i was like i need to try that so it's a protein shake but it's salted caramel flavor anything salted caramel i am here for it i love salted caramel let me know if you're a salted caramel lover or a hater i am a definite lover i just think it's so nice i feel like salted caramel as a flavor has only come around in the uk in like the last five years it was not a thing when i was younger like we didn't have salted caramel flavored things is that just me this one's by the brand new fit i don't think i've tried any of their products before high protein milkshake so i'm hoping that it literally tastes like milkshake a lot of milk going on in this video um yeah my stomach's gonna be oh god mm. it's not that strong salt caramel though i'm a bit disappointed i actually preferred the yogurt thing i think it's not sweet enough for me it's probably a little bit healthier rather than salt of caramel milkshake kind of vibe that i was hoping for but anyway that is going to round up my breakfast it wasn't too bad in terms of actually having a breakfast like they were all breakfast items you know did you see those frankfurters whoever is buying those frankfurters and the reason that they are on the market in that garage they need to reassess their diet choices because they literally looked so disgusting i was i literally was gonna be sick anyway i'm gonna um stop going on about frank versus now and i will catch you at lunchtime right it's lunchtime i am so hungry right now i literally can't wait to eat i feel like every single video i record i say that i'm hungry i'm a hungry gal okay i'm a hungry hungry gal i've actually had a really productive morning so i'm in like good spirits right now i've been and got my car washed because it was actually vile like the inside of it you can't see but it was gross and the wheels were black when they washed it and i could see the wheels i was like oh i forgot the wheels were those that color also went to view some offices because basically 
basically working from home is massively taking its toll on me I've just been feeling feelings that i don't normally get um and i don't like it i've given you my literal life story now you definitely don't need to know this we're, we're talking about food in this video not why i need to get an office that's about my last story and back to the video i am gonna go to a proper service station because we do actually have one like kind of just outside our town it does have like a lot more options she's got proper starbucks but i think i'm just past the starbucks thing right now i got like a kfc a mcdonald's an m and got like a noodle bar a burrito bar it's got quite a lot of different things so i feel like that is going to be a good option for lunch joe's asked me to pick him up a kfc i'm like really right we have arrived Oh my god, look what they've got. Doesn't look like it's there yet. <gasps> that would have been so good. Toffee crisp. Oh my god. <laughs> Eating from service stations all day. Please, yeah. And everything, yeah. Right, I've secured the goods. I feel like I'm gonna have to go and eat them at home though because Joe's flipping KFC is gonna go cold. But I'm very excited to show you what I've got. I feel like this is gonna be a good meal. If it stayed intact, you'll know what I mean. I'm not sure whether it's gonna have stayed intact. Right, I'm back and my food is definitely gonna be cold. Is yours cold? Mm -hmm. A bit. I basically got stuck in traffic, so even though I came home just so that I could feed, it's actually going to be cold anyway, so that's fine. Anyway, I ordered from El Mexicana. I don't know whether you guys have seen it before. It looks, well, it looked really yummy when the guy was making it, so if it's still intact, then hopefully it's going to be dry. I went for tacos. It'll oh be God. in taco then. Huh? It'll be in taco. What? Not intact. Not being in tacos. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited for this. He's wrapped it up a lot. I got veggie veggie chili. Oh my god, it looks well nice. Can you see that? Sour cream, cheese, salsa. I went for the mild salsa because I'm a wimp and I can't deal with it. I don't I can't see any veggie chili in there though. I'm guessing it's right at the bottom. They actually look good. They're pretty intact as well. So um, give one a like try. No, soft shelled. Soft shelled, you're a soft shelled, aren't you? I quite like a hard shell, but mm -mm. you don't, do you? Oh, very cold. Mm -mm. Oh no. I work tomato on my trousers. Every video I'm covered in food. It's actually really nice. Yeah. If it was a bit warmer, mm -mm. that'd be really good. That from a service station is not a bad lunch. I do feel like they could potentially have put a bit more chilli in there, but I mean, all the toppings are really nice. They're actually quite big as well. Like, that's actually a decent size, isn't it? Mm, was it expensive? Mm, £5.50. That's not that bad, is it? You could get three, which is £6.50, but I'm happy with two. Like, that's plenty. Also got myself a Coke Zero. Oh my God, it's coming up the top. Anyway, that is really nice. Like, that's actually really filling. I'm gonna commit a bit of food fraud here and start my dessert midway through my meal. Because I just really want to show you. You're gonna like this one, Joe. You can try one if you want. I could not leave the El Mexicana without getting some churros. Look how good they look. They look so no. You could choose either chocolate sauce, which is the one that I've gone for, or caramel sauce. That is like a decent size of chocolate as well. Look how good that looks. Should I break into it? Oh my god, I'm so sorry about my nails. How embarrassing. Oh, it's nice and crispy. A lot of sugar on there. And the chocolate on there. Mmm. They're good. You have to try that. Oh, if I have to. If I have to. Oh my god, that is so good. It must have like cinnamon sugar on it or something. Yeah, it does. A churro. Yeah. Oh, do they always? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Absolute churro mm. amateur. It's a trademark mm. to a churro. Can oh I have one? Oh so good. Can I have one? Mm. Someone's being generous. I'm always generous. Mm. Food, did I? Excuse you. <laughs> Got no hope. <laughs> oh my god, how good is that? That, I, that is darn good. Would you, say, would you give that a high rating? Mm. 
literally the only thing no, no, that would have made that better would have been for it to still be warm. Mm. I'd give that a 9 out of 10 as well. This is the one. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> that was the creepiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> 9 out of 10 for that service station. Peace. Peace to the masses. <laughs> it's dinner! Dinner time! I'm ready for some dinner. It's quite late. Well, it's not really that late. It's like 20 past 8. Feels late. Feels it's like it's getting dark yeah, these days. It's so early. dark. What is going on? I hate it when it's dark so early in England. The worst thing ever was when you were a kid and you got out of school at like half three and it was already going dark. Anyway, right, we are at a service station for dinner. We are back with a brand new track. This one has got a few things, but there is one thing that I've got my eye on. I feel like you can't do this video without eating at a McDonald's because British people, when they're driving around the country, they love a McDonald's. I remember when I was a kid, it was literally like the best part of my holiday if we would go to a service station and get a mcdonald's on the way home so i feel like i've got to do it i've got to have a mcdonald's mcdonald's coming up Ta -da! <laughs> that's so ridiculous hey, you are super cool <laughs> oh, look that was oh, wow that is a cool car every time we do these videos same thing last week we had like crazy cars going on in yeah. the background right i've gone for this is gonna be controversial i feel like Fillet of fish. Let me know. I spelled fillet. Are you right? <laughs> fillet. I think it's actually fillet. Oh. Fillet of fish. Let me know. Are you a lover or a hater of this little pocket of joy? I mean, it's a bit dark for you to actually see, but basically, a piece of fish breaded. Well, I don't even know whether it's actual fish. I'm not gonna lie. It would be fish. And then, and then inside is basically a slab of like I don't actually know what the sauce is. Tartar sauce. Is it tartar sauce though? Yeah. What else is it gonna be? Again, yeah, like, I know we, I said that in the last video. That is not put together with care. Yeah, it is. What, it's look at it. It's hanging it. out the bloody end of it. <laughs> Someone's just flipped it off. They're in a rush. It's fast like food, it. Joe. Mm. I'm sorry. Have you ever tried one? No. You want to try it? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you can't not like that. I probably will like it. It's just... Also got chips, obviously. Hmm. What's your thoughts? Do you like it? See? All that time you've been slating me. It's nice, no, isn't no. it? I'm not slating you for ordering it because I don't think it's going to be nice. I just... just I feel like that's not a thing to order from KFC... Uh, from... McDonald's. Why? What did you get in your Monopoly then? Oh yeah. Do you want to do the honours? Do you get one in here too? No. What do you reckon we're going to get? Well, I got some more fries last time. I should have used it. Damn. Enter code online. What is it? Enter oh. the code online. We might have won something. Enter it online. Document our um, lottery winnings. It's, it's fate. What? The code's JJP. <gasps> Joe's Joe Parker, by the way. I really should stop eating before I talk. It's so bad. Barbecue sauce. Why am I the messiest eater ever? I love barbecue sauce, but I feel like I never branch out. Like, I actually have never chosen another sauce. I feel like there's probably some other nice ones, isn't there? Grand. Stop. You're just like, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. Better luck next time. Oh, Joe. So, this is something I've never tried from McDonald's before. So this is a mint chop chip. I think it's called a frost, frosty or frostino, something like that. But it looked really similar to the thing that I saw at Costa, which I didn't try because it was so cold that day and I just didn't fancy it. But when I saw this, I was like, okay, I'm going to try it because I feel like it'd be a good dessert because it's, I guess it's kind of like mint chalk ice cream, right? Mm. Mm. Good? Oh my God. Oh my god, that is so nice. If you like cho mint choc ice cream, that tastes like mint choc chip milkshake. Mm, that is that's so, that that is is so good, isn't it? I'm, cool. I'm actually in Got shock. chocolate chip snip. I literally ordered that like wow. a bit on a whim. I highly recommend you try that because oh, it's 
wondering why I couldn't get my car into gear, but I didn't even have my foot on the clutch. Right, I'm at home, finally, and about to get ready for bed. I thought I was going to end the day on that McDonald's, but I just fancied a little extra something. So, we pulled into the petrol station on the way back, and I picked up a grenade bar. I feel like grenade is a well-known brand, so... I thought I would get something from them. Partially healthy end of the day in a way. Not really, still like literally a chocolate bar. But anyway, hopefully it's nice. It's really big, wow. Have a little look at what's inside. Is it gonna be actual cookie dough? That is the question. Wow, it literally looks so nice. It's got like chocolate chips or something in there as well. Like melting in my hands. I feel like this is gonna be good. That is cookie doughy. It's quite nice. And the fact that you can even get this kind of thing at like a petrol station now, I think it's pretty good. Like I feel like they're up in the game since I was younger. I definitely feel like there is a lot more options nowadays. I'm not saying that the UK is anything on America because if you've watched the eating from gas stations for 24 hours, they have way cooler stuff than we do. We are definitely not up to scratch for the American gas stations, but I actually do think that was such a nice day of food. Like, those tacos and that churros, they were literally like restaurant standard. I'm not joking, they were so good. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and hopefully it's given you some foodie inspiration if you're driving at some point this year because a lot of us are going on staycations in the UK at the moment. So everybody is gonna be driving. You need to try that mint choc chip thing from McDonald's. Please, if you try anything, try that because genuinely it was so good. But thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure before you go that you give this video a like if you did enjoy it and if you are new here i would love you to subscribe and stick around for future foodie videos i am going away with my friends tomorrow and i'm gonna let them choose what i eat for the whole weekend and i am so nervous about it i'm praying they choose nice food for me so make sure you subscribe and stick around for that video thank you so much for watching and i will see you on wednesday